Hello and welcome to People's Voice, where true stories touch deep emotions. Today, we delve into, I caught my wife cheating with a real estate agent at our new house, so I divorced her. Come, let's explore these real life stories. I'm a male who is 45 years old and a finance manager at an insurance firm. My wife is 46 years old. Before we got married, she was a part-time struggling singer whom I met at a bar one night where she was performing. But, she didn't sing well. In fact, the other customers at the bar were making fun of her voice. I stood up for her that night and comforted her, which is how we started dating and ultimately got married in 2018. Throughout our marriage, my wife Saison changed her professions multiple times. Saison was a stunningly beautiful and slim woman, and I considered myself lucky to have her in my life. But, because she was having struggles in her career, she would focus all of her efforts there and would throw all of the responsibility for household chores on me. Saison was attempting to record songs, so she spent most of her time in a studio and at various events. She was never at home. I had to spend my time alone once I got home from work. She wanted to become well-known and release her own records. I reassured her that she didn't need to worry because I was making enough for us to start a family and that she could get a simple job. She shouted at me and claimed that because I work in the dull profession of finance, I am unable to understand the suffering of an artist. She emotionally bullied me and asked me to invest in her debut album even though I knew she couldn't make it as a singer and was in denial about it. I still spent some money on her album since she believed she was a talented musician. Now that you're asking why I did that, I'll explain that people make terrible blunders when they're in love. I was in love with her, and she persuaded me to pay for her album. She established her own studio and released her record, but nothing went well for her. I eventually had to tell her straight out that she was a dreadful singer and lacked talent, and I demanded that I wanted the money back that I spent on her record. She assured me that she would find a way to do it. Then. When COVID-19 arrived in 2020, everything had come to a halt. We were under lockdown at the time, I was working from home, but Saison had fallen into depression due to the lockdown and her unsuccessful career. She also had gained weight due to stress-related overeating and insufficient exercise. Despite the fact that I was glad to be with her, I couldn't stand the way her moods would change so quickly. She would dance with me in our lounge at night and wear skirts for me. But throughout the day, she would be constantly crying or talking on Zoom to various acquaintances. We were living in a small flat, therefore, it was hard for me to concentrate on my work as she would either weep or be talking loudly with people. I had harder times with her while we were under lockdown. I was very delighted to rejoin my office once the lockdown was over. Saison began working as a dietitian's assistant. She visited one because she was worried about her weight gain and needed a diet plan, so she went to a nutritionist for a diet plan, found a job opening there, and applied. She was making a lot of effort to lose weight, but she was having difficulty doing it. Her concerns about her weight led her to believe that I was having an affair at work, so she worked hard to win my heart. She would prepare delicious meals for me, watch TV with me, and give me gifts of my favorite items. Life was wonderful, and I was content with her presence in my life. Then, I received a piece of the inheritance when my father decided to distribute it, and I decided to use it to invest in a new home. We called the local real estate agent and found a great realtor, Alex. He assisted us in selecting a home within our budget, listened to our needs, and showed us various houses. Whenever Alex invited us to show a property, Saison would spend hours getting ready. I didn't pay much attention to it because weight gain had made her so insecure, therefore, whenever she had to go someplace, she would put on heavy makeup. Alex had a habit of complimenting us both to lift our spirits, but Saison was genuinely happy to hear those brief remarks. One day, Alex requested us to come to check a double-story house. I called Saison from work to remind her to be ready on time. 
She answered my call and said Alex had postponed a meeting and we weren't required to go that day. I was surprised because I had received a message from him, but Saison assured me that she had received a call from Alex and that he had cancelled today's visit. I was happy to hear that because I had a lot going on at work, but when we met with Alex the next time, his assistant asked me why I hadn't come with Saison the last time. I was surprised to hear that, so I informed him that Alex had called off the meeting. He told me that Saison had come alone to see the house. I was stunned. We returned home, and when I questioned Saison about it, she was so cool about it and claimed she didn't want me to miss work or drive all day, so she took on the task of visiting the house alone. I was delighted to hear this because Saison was concerned about my workload. House hunting was a difficult process, but with Alex's assistance, we eventually bought a lovely home. Saison did all of the packing while I handled all of the paperwork. Afterward, we moved into our new home within a month. Alex had been a great assistance to us throughout this process, so we invited him to dinner at our new house. Saison, who had no interest in cooking or cleaning, prepared several dishes for the dinner and dressed in a maroon fancy dress. I didn't understand why all these preparations were being made for just Alex, but Saison informed me that she was really eager to work in our new kitchen and host our first dinner party in our new home. Saison was delighted that dinner went well and that Alex had praised us on everything. Because Alex lived far away and needed to travel back home, Saison requested Alex to stay with us for the night. That bothered me since, after all, Alex was our realtor, not a close friend, and I wanted to maintain it as a business relationship. But, Alex politely declined her request and said goodbye to us. I left for work the next day but my tiredness from dinner the night before was terrible. I therefore made the decision to return home early. I did so around 2 p.m. When I reached my house, I used my own keys to enter the door as I assumed Saison would be at work, but as I entered, I was frightened to see Saison and Alex together. They were not expecting me, so they were astounded as well. The inappropriateness of what they were doing horrified me, but I kept my composure. Saison was pleading with me and claiming it was a mistake, and when Alex gave her attention and compliments, she felt good about herself. Alex was stating Saison trapped him, and she called him and invited him, and being polite to customers was part of his business. They were both blaming each other. I punched Alex and threw him out of my house. I was shattered, but I didn't show any sympathy to Saison and threw her and her possessions out of my house. Update I reported about Alex, and his license was suspended as a result. I issued Saison a divorce notice. She is depressed and begs me to patch things up because she has nowhere else to go. Alex was clearly not serious with her, and Alex was right. He was probably trapped by Saison because she was so insecure, and Alex was being kind to her, and she felt validated by Alex's kindness. I've ended all contact with Saison, and I'm relieved to be freed of her. Saison's life is worsening because she is underpaid and lives in a small house with a roommate. My coworker wants to approach me romantically, but I'm afraid of relationships now. We occasionally meet outside of the office since I don't want to rush things. Kindly provide me with your recommendations regarding my new relationship. My ex-wife Saison keeps attempting to get in touch with my coworker to complain about how awful and emotionally unavailable I was when I was married to her, but thankfully, my coworker is aware of Saison's infidelity, so she advised Saison not to get in touch with her ever again. Even though I'd moved on from Saison, the experience of being with her was so awful that it still causes me anxiety, but now I realized I was in a toxic marriage even before her cheating incident. In an abusive relationship, one partner is in charge at all times, and abusive behavior is one that a controlling spouse chooses to engage in to demonstrate dominance and to keep control over the other partner. It may begin as emotional abuse and eventually turn into cheating or fraud. I appreciate you listening to my story. Let me know what you think of my story. Please like my story and subscribe to this channel. We value your presence here. Have a great day!